Sylvie shared her big dreams with me starting at a very young age. I mean, she always knew what she wanted to do. What type of design she wanted to do was anyone's guess, but it was always very much a creative talent that she had. You could see her personality at age three. She would show that first, her ability to paint and her ability to mix colors. She was a, an artist, a real artist. She wanted to have her own line and that was her goal. And she climbed the corporate ladder when she was working at Tommy Hilfiger. Then she worked for Victoria's Secret, then started her line um, in 2006. In 2006, you met Sylvie. Yeah, she was looking for representation. Um, she was launching her Sela swimwear collection. My partner and I really felt like we hadn't seen anything like this. You know, whatever subtleties there were in the design and print and color, she just, she was spot on. So you went down to Miami for her fashion show? We did. She had her first runway show there. It was a huge success. This is obviously backstage in Miami. These are some of her press pictures. She's very photogenic. Incredibly so, yeah. It was sort of a PR dream. The coverage was, you know, across the board from InStyle and Vogue and Lucky and Elle. It was just very well loved immediately. One of the things that she did was what she called a makeout towel. So it's a super thick, like amazing beach towel that you could spread out. She was so excited because we had uh, several inquiries from Anna Wintour about this towel. Right out of the gate, she had so much press. If you have Anna Wintour on your side, I mean, you are doing really good. She got her clothing in Barney's and all these amazing stores within the first year, which is, which is unheard of. She deserved every bit of it for as hard as she worked. And that's just really sad that people aren't going to know, you know, Sela and Sylvie and like they know other names that are familiar to everybody. She was going to be that name too.